All right, in today's video, we're going to be making the praying mantis. You can see right here, this is my prototype I made. What the front is going to look like. There's the back. So we're going to need, um, we're going to need about 11 feet of yellow and six feet of light blue or turquoise. Whatever color you want is going to be fine. We're also going to need a fid, five eighths inch buckles pliers, lighter, and some scissors. All right, let's get started. I'm going to feed through the light blue cord right between where the cow hitch is here. And then I want to leave about three inches and to keep it from moving anywhere. I'm going to make overhand knot. It'll be cut off later. All right, get it tightened. We're going to make a four core strand. the left working end. We're going to separate the two cords, two on the left, two on the right. We're going to pass this yellow one underneath. Move it over to the left. Next, we're going to take the blue cord, go over these two right here, this one and this one. It's going to go underneath those two. And we're going to separate three on the right, one on the left. Pull that through. Check it, tech, if you want to check your work, take a look at that. So again, yellow cord goes underneath to the middle, over the top, towards the left. This goes over the two, underneath, and then only goes underneath one right here. So when I was making the prototype, I was having to guide a lot of the cord. Actually, there's several different ways to make this. We tighten each knot. I found it preferable when I had to guide it. Okay, now we're going to take the le the right working end. We're going to go underneath two and go through the middle. Up and around over those same two. Next, we're going to take the same blue cord to be used before. Over these two right here, underneath, and then separate the right cord from the other three on the left. Pull that through. And that's what that should look like. So the way I like doing this, I like pulling the yellow cord first, holding it with underneath, pulling the blue cord, and then tightening. All right, left cord underneath through the middle towards the left. So again, under two, 
and then over two towards the left. Should make an S pattern. Take the blue cord over those two underneath and then through underneath the far left core, separating one on the left, three on the right. So we should get something like this. Tighten the yellow first, then the blue. And then holding it underneath, pulling this one that way. Then I can put in both strands once they're tightened. Then we're going to do the same thing on the right. Underneath two. Go back towards the right once it's through. So it should be sort of looking like a two. Take the blue cord over underneath separate three on the left, one on the right, pass it through. I'm pulling on the bottom part right here for the yellow. Then I'm going to pull on the blue, get that tightened. We're going to guide it past this, on the yellow, and tighten. Now, if you need to adjust and pull these down ever so often, you should. That way you can keep your symmetry. Give me the same on both sides. Okay. Left cord. Underneath two. Back over on the left. Again, we've made our S shape. Take the blue cord. Go over these two. Go underneath those same two. Separate three on the right. One on the left, pass the blue cord through. Again, I still have my S shape. This is going to go over them underneath and then through right here. Now I'm going to take this right here, like tighten it, and underneath with my index finger, I'm going to pinch it so it doesn't move. And I'm take the blue cord, tighten that. Guide it underneath right here. And now take the yellow cord and tighten that. Okay, next, take the right working end, pass it underneath two, back over the same two we just went under. Now I sort of have it number two right here. Now I'm going to go over those two. So I'm going over one, two. Underneath. Three cords on the left, one on the right. Pass that through. It'll look something like that. Okay. So again, I'm going to pull this direction with the yellow cord. Pinch it underneath. Then the blue cord guide it, and then the yellow. And then continue the pattern.
know that it's about a half inch right here. We're about a centimeter and a half. I'm going to use a fid. Try to get the blue cord in between. If you don't uh, cut this at an angle and can't pass it through, you may need to use a FID to do that last step I just did. You know, when I made my prototype, I ended up right here. I didn't like how it looked when I put it underneath here. Do you have any ideas on tucking it underneath? How to make the pattern continue? You can leave comments below. You can help me out, the community out. Greatly appreciate it. And I can put an update in another video sometime. Thank you. So based on my experience, I'm going to just cut these off and singe it again. The community, this is where we're all one big community for paracord, helping each other out is how to finish these off. It was as if it was a Senate, it'd be easy to do, but as a buckle bracelet, it's a little bit harder to do sometimes with a pattern like this. Before I finish it off, let's try it on. Again, here is the front. Here's the back. Again, I need to cut this off. Of course, I know some people just do leave the knot here and it's all the way there and they just cut this off here, singe it. We're not gonna do that today. Okay. You know, I like melting it so then I could move it around so it attaches itself to the bracelet, the other paracord. It sort of glues it and melts itself into place. You know, a real survival bracelet is something you can take apart. Isn't glued all together. Me, this is just a designer bracelet, something you like wearing, like the design. And I can be using the paracord for anything. 
If you like quick deploy sentence, I do have a book. Prepper Paracord, quick deploy sentence. Available at Amazon.com. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna need to bend this. Angle. Right, there's that end. Let's take a look at this. I'm trying not to melt the other cord. Just the one I'm working on. It's partly why I like using torch flames. All right. There we go. The Praying Mantis by Lake Bros Paracord. Thanks for watching. Oh, you know what? I don't think I remember trying it on. For my measurements, should fit. For my own, my own guidelines. There we go. It fits.